A shooting in South Dallas left two people dead and police say the gunman may still be on the run. According to authorities, 26 year old Corey Lucian was found just after 5 p.m. yesterday shot to death on Casey Street. They say the other victim, 22 year old Antoine Dillard, died from his, from his injuries at the hospital. The Dallas officers are asking anybody with information to contact them or call Crime Stoppers. Their number is two. If somebody was to say strap, what's the best way to survive in Dallas? What's the best way? to stay out of trouble in Dallas, Texas. What 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 advice would you give this person? Shit, get, just get you some money and stay humble, man. Get you some money and stay humble. Because because shit. This shit ugly out here. So So, you know what I'm saying? You might just want to, you know what I'm saying? Get you some money and stay humble. That's all I can say. Yeah. Is there like a type of way, you know, would you would you tell somebody what not to drive or, you know, watch out for females? Like what 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 type of advice would you give, you know, instructional advice for step by step for somebody to stay out of the bullshit? Okay, look. If you feel like this shit not for you. Don't do it. You know what I'm saying? That's in anything. I don't give a fuck if it's driving to a bitch or, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know what I'm saying? Just don't do it. Because that shit means something. You know what I'm saying? That's anywhere you go. But then again, I can say don't trust everybody either out here. Because niggas' ass is cutthroat. You feel me? Niggas' ass will slime your ass out. All type of shit. So... The, the the best thing I can tell a nigga ass to survive is to be humble because you got you got bitches that'll set you up, you got niggas that'll rob and kill you, you got niggas on the shit just blemish your image just because you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying it just a lot of shit you gotta you gotta withhold like you gotta keep your image up like you can't let no nigga and that shit gonna come with a lot of fucking a lot of like bad shit is gonna come with it. It's gonna come with it for sure, for sure. If you a rapper, it's gonna come with some shit. Oh God. Yo, it's Big Ant the Spokesman, man. We back another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UP TV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. First and foremost, I wanna say condolences to the entire families of BFG Strap and Corey. No matter what went on, or what went down with this yesterday. There's a lot of rumors out there. Nothing has been officially wrote up in a police report. So I won't report on rumors or what everybody is saying. But what I can confirm is that family members of both of these brothers that lost their life yesterday have to now plan funerals. They had to go down and identify bodies with holes in them. Somebody did. Somebody got to claim the body. Somebody got to pick out an obituary. Somebody got to pick a color scheme for a funeral and they got to deal with the pain that somebody they love, a son, a brother, a cousin, a nephew, got their life taken away before 30 years old and they can't come back. Death is irreversible and it cut deeper when it happened like this. Now, as BFG Strap said in the beginning, and I'm gonna read the write up in just a second, it's crazy out here, bro. It's dangerous. It's wild. West Dallas, South Dallas, the whole Dallas. Another one of them places. It go down like that out there. Real, yeah, nigga know. It can get slimy. It can get grimy. That's what happens. But I want to tell the brothers this, my nigga. No matter what's going on in your life, think. Think before you act. Is it worth it? Is it worth your mama having to go pick up your body? Is it worth your mama having to see pictures of you online. Now, we in the internet era, bro. Niggas gonna put your dead body online, my nigga. Do you wanna leave your baby, your tea lady, your pops, your uncles, your little sister, your little brother, you wanna leave them to deal with that? I understand when you jump in that water, once you dive in that water, hey, everything that come with it is open opportunity. The grave or the cage. We got a cycle going on out here in this country right now, in this world, but I'm speaking to the, the culture, the street culture, the urban culture, even inside of music is real hectic, real violent. 
It get like that. It been like that since before our time, since before a rap song was ever even fucking created. But now I get to the point where it just gets super disrespectful. It's always been bad, but the disrespect that come behind it has gotten so out of hand, bro. And that's what I really want to speak out against just on niggas. Hey, bro, I know y'all getting y'all shit off. I know y'all don't want to look weak, bro. Can't nobody make you feel like no hoe, bro, unless you let them make you feel like a hoe. You got to tell yourself you a hoe. If a nigga ain't put his hands on you, a nigga ain't took nothing off you, bro, avoid that shit, my nigga. Because when you keep this energy going and this cycle going, you ain't doing nothing but right in your day. That's all you doing in Dallas. Dallas, man, y'all got too much talent, bro. Too much talent, too much of a a culture, infrastructure that y'all created on y'all own to tear it all down behind dividing sides and politicking against each other and everything like that. I understand this is the new wave. This is the new age. Get online, beef, dish your ops and everything like that. But just know what you signing up for, bro. That's all I want to tell y'all niggas. You might be an innocent bystander. You might be around some niggas ain't got nothing to do with you. Or you could be a nigga head first in the shit looking for the bullshit. Just know at the end of the day, bro, you got your family who gonna have to pick out the dead body. Pick out the, they gotta look and see the bullet holes in your head, your neck, your body. And they gotta say, I gotta bury my baby. He ain't even get a chance to see live life yet, nigga. 26 young, 22 even younger. Nigga, my little brother 22. Nigga, I ain't even live life yet, and I'm older than these niggas. You know what I'm saying? So I know, I'm me being on earth a little bit longer, I got more experience to know, my nigga, you ain't even get a chance to do nothing yet. Don't end your story so early, bro. Don't end it so early. Do your best to avoid it. Things happen. The nigga know. That's the streets. But I want to send them condolences up, but the write-up said this. The deadly shooting happened along Casey Street near Malcolm X Boulevard in South Dallas. One victim, 26-year-old Corey Lucien, died at the scene. The other, 22-year-old Anton Dillard, died at the hospital. Dillard used the rap name BFG Strap. His most popular songs included Gang Member, Everyday 420, and I'm Good. And it's crazy to me because I've had supporters on my platform ask me to try to get an interview with BFG Strap. Didn't get a chance to really make it happen when he was kind of doing more of his music shit and really pushing this shit and like that. People was like, man, I want to see him get on your shit. And I uh, tried to make it happen, but I didn't really get a chance to connect it. People was talking to me about it, though, and I just really uh, hate to see this happen to homie, bro, or anybody, any young nigga coming up in life, bro. Nigga don't like to see that shit, dog. Nigga don't want to see y'all niggas taking each other out. Dallas, man. A nigga hate to see y'all tearing each other down like this, man. As a nigga from Ace Time, I go out there and I get love, bro. I get love out of Dallas, wherever I go. And I appreciate it most definitely. I don't never take that shit for granted. It's always respect and love to Dallas. Them niggas ran our club scene out here for years. Got a culture of their own. Nigga want to see y'all win. It's still Big Texas with me at all times, nigga. But I want to say condolences to them, man. And 1,000, stay on your pivot for shit show, man.